So, without further ado, we are on the grid so now again. for the Cadet I Army final, race number 15, the penultimate race of the day. There is a, oh, a big wave, he's looking happy. He was very focused on that's Nathan Ty Jr. due to start from pole position. There is number 10, Lewis Werrell. Big smile from Lewis for the Fusion Motorsport team starting third. Starting fifth will be Archie Clark. Oh no, let's see, everyone's gonna wave? No, no. Eden, uh, Cattle Clark is uh, deep in thought, so is Eden Spanswick. At least he glances at the camera. Uh, <laughs> then Kit Belowski goes from car number 95. There's Kit's Oliver Oda Motorsport teammate, uh, Zach Knight. It's Daniel Sofrenea. He's due to start on the inside of row number six. Oh, sorry, row number eight, row number nine. That's Noah Wolf. Tired from his previous, or oh, the second heat of the day. Then it is Alfie Slater. Oh, nice. Uh, his initials on his iridium visor, lovely. There's Mikey Walker from Strawberry Racing and Will Murtar from Fusion Motorsport. William Knight is next. He is on the inside of row number 13. Inside of row number 14 is Cameron Pratt Thompson, you can see in the 33 Kanishki Rao and Morgan Moore at the back of that row. Now, here we are on the outside row of the grid and uh, so starting in P2 will be, there we are, driver number nine, Macaulay Bishop. Oh, he, he was smiling and he saw a camera and he got a big glove. Mm -hmm. Come on, Mac, give us a, give us a wave. No. I think that's the sun, dude. Yeah, that's the sun. Or, or, or wind. Or wind. What are two? Ethan Jeff Hall starts on the outside of row two. Connor Duncan on row number three. Zach Drummond starts on the outside of row number four. There he is, cart number 20. And behind fifth row of the outside row of the fifth row of the grid that is Jorge Edgar there is uh, Jorge in cart number 17 Roman Kamyab will be there and uh, well at least it's cold enough for Jess to wear a bobble hat she was wearing it Kim Bolton was about 45 degrees uh, there we are yeah yeah uh, Mason Rudman oh he's having a that <laughs> very funny Mason he's having a there not a not a more relaxed pilot you will find than Mason Rudman uh, Hardy Mamassi the uh, Anglo-Canadian driver. He starts in the outside of row eight. Jesse Phillips, a happy birthday yesterday. Happy ninth birthday yesterday for Jesse. One of the youngest drivers in the championship, starting on the outside of row number nine. And uh, on the outside of row number ten, you'll see there's Ben Smith for Fusion Motorsport. Sebastian Mins. He had an off in his earlier heat. He has pulled his way back to start 22nd on the grid. Corley Walsh is kind of good to see McCauley back in the paddock. And a big wave from William Antrobus for Strawberry Racing and Carton 38. There's Cole Glover, Scottish driver, privateer entrant, starting on the outside of row number 13. Joey Brown in cart number 74. Oh, I like that plain black crash helmet. Mm. Yeah, good, looks a bit like Darth Vader. White cart, black race suit, black lid. Can't fault that. And rounding out the outside row of the grid, that's Eli Baden. And uh, this time, James Cameron does get out of the way. Just about. Ooh, and here, like he got run over there. Almost here. Carts go out. Mechanics scurry left and right. Let's have a look at the full starting lineup. There it is then. Nathan Ty starting on the front row alongside Macaulay Bishop in the number nine. Then it's Lewis Rowell. And then Ethan Jeff Hall on the second row. Archie Clark. Connor Duncan rounding out row number three. Row number four, Cathal Clark and Zach Drummond. Eden Spanswick and Jorge Edgar are on row five. Kit Balofsky and Roman Kamyab are on row number six. Row seven, Zachary Knight in the 36. Then it's Mason Rudman alongside Daniel Sofronea and Hardy Mamassi in 16th place. Noah Wolf and then Jesse Phillips in 18th. Noah Wolf, who is still on the dummy grid. The cart is running, but he's going to join the back of the field and only do one rolling lap. Alfie Slater and Ben Smith are on row 10. Row 11 is Michael Walker and Sebastian Mins. Row 12, Will Murtar and William Antrobus. And I'm just looking down there, and now, yes, Noah Wolf does join the field. William Knight in 25th place, then it's Cole Glover, and then Cameron Pratt Thompson, and Joey Brown, Kanishki Rao, and then Eli Baden in 30th place. Running up the field is Morgan Moore, our Irish friend. Will Irish eyes be smiling on Morgan in these next 15 minutes? Now, said that Jesse Phillips has had a birthday. Well, I don't know. Uncle John's been on. You know Uncle John, don't you? 
Uh, uh, not particularly. Well, you know, no, Uncle John, Uncle John Waddell, well, he said happy birthday to his nephew, Jesse. Oh, well, there you go. No, I can't believe it. John, Uncle John. Oh, I'm sorry, Uncle John. Yeah, exactly. Please forgive me. Yeah, please. Yes, yes. Please take pity on the poor lad. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Here we go then. Right, all 31 drivers. That's what we want to see. Coming down the straight towards the dog leg. Nathan Ty on the on pole. Macaulay Bishop on the outside of row number one. Into the tram lines. Lights are green, away oh. we go. Oh, oh my. Well, Macaulay Bishop tried to come across on Nathan Ty there, and there's been a collision into the barriers. Go three or four carts. Well, we're going to have to piece together that one. There's number 30 cart of Connor Duncan had spun around. Now, Nathan Ty, he moved across to counteract Macaulay Bishop's dive to the inside, and uh, it cost both of them. Macaulay Bishop was so lucky to avoid getting taken out by the collision that happened behind them. But I think, I think it is possibly the Oliver Roller Motorsports car. I think it's an Oliver Roller Motorsports car at the front as Ty managed to retain his lead. We'll see now, but uh, there's a couple of cars. No, it is the number 36 of Zach Knight. Now, yep. Zach, Zach Knight started outside the top 10. How on earth has he managed to claw his way up into the lead? Well, the answer was by making a good start, getting at the inside and avoiding the crash, Anthony. Yes, I suspect that's the best way of doing it, and uh, that confirms it. Zachary Knight leading the way from Cathy Clark, then it's Eden Spanswick, Archie Clark, then Ethan Jeff Hall, Nathan Ty, then it's Lewis Werrell, Archie Sl uh, Alfie Slater, then William Knight, William Murtar, then William Antrobus, the three Williams. No to tail. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when, when there's a will, there's a way, and they're willing their way to the front. Oh, but, uh, oh, <laughs> but no, this is mean. So there is Nathan Ty. Now Nathan Ty makes it three wide up the inside, going in there. Oh, and that was Eden Spanswick flirting with the barrier there. Uh, but luckily, uh, the barrier rebuffed his attention and uh, didn't welcome him in. Welcome him in with open arms. But the, so Eden Spanswick carries on. But I'm just looking down now. So where is so Zach Drummond? He's down in 28. He was caught up in that earlier incident. So was Connor Duncan. So was Ben Smith. So was Noah Wolf. Uh, Jesse Phillips has dropped the 25th place, so not a great birthday. Roman Kamyab's down to 23rd. But I mean, it's, so it's Zach Knight, Cattle Clark, Archie Clark, Nathan Ty now passing Archie Clark for third position. Lewis Warrell runs fifth. Ethan Jeff Hall is sixth. And it's William Knight. Fantastic start from William Knight at 18 places to seventh. Followed by Alfie Slater, Eden Spanswick, and Will Murtar in tenth. Championship leader, Macaulay Bishop, cart number nine for the Paul Mann Racing Team. He is 11th at the moment. Yeah, it's been an interesting start to this cadet final here at Mantle Raceway. It's not something that usually happens, but a massive shake-up of the order. Like you say, Zachary Knight at 12 positions now in P1, but after, uh, well, under some, uh, some big pressure from Cathal Clark in second place. Archie Clark as well in third place as well at two positions. So Nathan Ty of, uh, of our of the top four in the championship now even though uh, Zach Drummond has won a round he currently runs fourth in the championship Connor Duncan runs third he is currently back in 27th place points leader Macaulay Bishop well he was 11th he's now back up to ninth so of, our, of our top four in the championship because Zach Drummond is also down at the back of the pack Nathan Ty is the best placed but he is third at the moment Zach Knight he's fifth in the points table at the minute he's leading the race so could we see another new winner here in Cadet Iami? And could we see another driver stake their claim for a potential championship as well? Uh, Castle Clark in cart number 11 is ninth in the point standings. Uh, not out of it yet by a long shot. And then the number eight cart running in fourth at the moment, Archie Clark. Well, he's in cart eight and he is eighth in the points at the minute. But uh, there's... Oh, goodness me. That is Zach Knight over the... Uh, over the, over the curb coming in there, and that did unsettle the cart, and that allows Cattle Clark to take the race lead. So Nathan Ty sort of signaling to his teammate, come on, we'll work together, let's go. And Zach Knight is straight back up the inside of uh, Cattle Clark. Nathan Ty follows him through. Yep, very nicely recovered through there. I'd like to get a slow-mo camera looking at that curb there when <laughs> these cadets go round. So I suspect we'll get some cracking shots. But uh, there we go, just over 10 minutes left on the clock. There's the number 11 diving down the inside again under pressure from Archie Clark just behind, so holding on to that third place spot. And now Nathan Ty retakes the lead. He does, yes. So G 
GP plate back up into the lead. 36, Zachary Knight holding on to second place, just tucking in. Now, of course, while we're looking at the race leaders, um, and I'll look at the timing screen for him, so Macaulay Bishop has regained several places. He's there in card of nine. You can see him uh, coming into number one. Now, he's seventh, so there's the championship leader going through the screen briefly. Uh, behind him, some of the other drivers have got caught up. Well, Roman Kamyab is already back up in the 16th position. He was down in 23rd place. Morgan Moore, we wondered if our Irish eyes were going to be smiling. But he's gone from 31st in the grid up into 18th place at the moment. Zach Drummond, he's recovered to 20th place. Connor Duncan is still mired back in 25th, but we've still got all 31 carts still running. So, any mechanical issue for one of the championship leaders, it's going to be literally down they're going to be finishing last because all 31 drivers are still running so nathan ty has sort of clawed his way back into contention the next one of our championship runners is uh, macaulay bishop he's now moving into sixth position um but i think connor duncan and uh zach drummond they are sort of trying to salvage a top 10 position at best at this stage of the race a long way to go nine and a half minutes remaining ty still leads from his teammate zach knight but critically the two Oliver Rowland carts are working together and they are putting some daylight between themselves and the number eight of Archie Clark who runs third. Yep, it's been a disastrous last couple of laps for Cathal Clark and the number 11 dropping several positions. And so you can just see there behind now the number five of oh. Ethan Jeff Hall is again contact between the drivers as they go through. Three of the fusion carts battling together here and uh, a couple of the other teams just mixed in between the way as well. Yeah, if you can that, see that Lewis Warrell was trying yeah. to make a move on McCauley Bishop there, and Bishop was defending, and Warrell sort of clipped his rear bumper, and that unsettled Warrell's cart. Now, that's Bishop trying to look at the inside, coming out of hangar, and I think McCauley Bishop there moves past uh, Cathal Clark, possibly, or is it moved, did he move past Ethan Jeff Hall? Now, he moved past Ethan Jeff Hall, so he's still in the rear bumper of Cathal Clark. Cathal Clark, who was battling for the lead, now trying to hold off Bishop for fourth. Here comes Bishop to the inside going into turn number one and McCauley Bishop does make the move stick but you can see there's the gap up to the top three uh, Archie Clark is a second in front of number nine McCauley Bishop as things stand on lap number eight eight minutes to go yep so as you can see going through some of those drivers really struggling on that final chicane with hitting those curves you saw a couple of laps ago Hardy Massey taking to the skies as well off that curb now, drivers are really having to watch out for that one because, one, it can massively unsettle the cart. Two, it could potentially damage it and end your final straight away there, which we have seen in yep. previous races. And drivers definitely don't want that, so they really need to try and avoid it. And we saw as well on the last lap, that's how, again, uh, Arthur Clark lost that position, or uh, Catholic Clark, I should say, lost that position to Macaulay Bishop, was hitting the exit curve out of that final chicane. The drivers have got to really pay close attention to that one. So here's a look back at some of the tail enders. There goes uh, Joey Brown through the screen. There is the driver in 31st place. That is Eli Baden. And he's got a great sort of like red claw marks down the side of his crash hammer there. That's a really good uh, design there for the Cato Motorsport uh, number 35. Now here is McCauley Bishop. And you can see on the, on the, the, as, the as McCauley sits in the cart, his right-hand side pod not the left one there that you're looking at on the screen now, but his right-hand side is all scuffed up. And that is from the wheel-to-wheel con -wheel contact made with Nathan Ty uh, on the opening, uh, the run down to the, the first corner on the opening lap. So as Bishop tried to cut across to get the inside, Ty was coming across to take the outside line. And you can see where Ty's uh, left rear tyre clattered into the side part of Bishop's cart. And uh, new graphics kit on order for the Pullman Racing Department, I feel. But uh, up at the front, Nathan Tyres now, he's got his rear gunner. He's got the number 36 cart of Zach Knight as a rear gunner. And they are 1.2 seconds in front of Archie Clark. And uh, Zach Knight, we saw them talking at the end of the second heat, uh, Nathan Ty and Zach Knight, about the tactics. So again, thumbs up from Nathan Ty. They are working together. Bishop passes Ethan uh, Archie Clark into P3. So we've now got Oliver Roller Motorsport drivers running one and two. The Paul Munn Racing Development Team in third. And then Strawberry Racing drivers fourth and fifth. Fusion Racing drivers sixth and seventh. The leading privateer, Harvey Mamasi, all on his own in eighth place. Head of Alfie Slater and Sebastian Mins, another pair of Fusion Motorsport brethren. Indeed. Just under six minutes left on the timer then. Plenty of action still left to go. Plenty of time still left to go for the IAMI Cadets for their final. Race 15 of the day. And 
temperature heating up in the commentary box and also heating up on track as well between these drivers. Nathan Tai in the GP still leading, pulling his teammate along, Zachary Knight, who, of course, up 11 places. This is great for him. It must be yeah. a massive confidence boost to be at the sharp end of the stick here. And, you know, by pulling away from the likes of Macaulay Bishop, Archie Clark, Ethan Jeff Hall as well, it's, uh, it's great to see. But those three working together, you've got the two strawberry racing team drivers working together as well. So still plenty of action still out there. Yes, no, I, I, far be it from me to try and burst the Oliver Roller Motorsport bubble. However, Macaulay Bishop on the last lap did a 54.92 second lap. And he, he was 1.6 seconds behind the two leaders at the end of lap number 10. He's on his own. He's pulling away from the two strawberry racing drivers. He's just did another lap. Uh, he did a 54.9, a two-tenths of a second quicker than Ty and Knight. The gap is now 1.3 seconds. I mean, Bishop has got his head down and is closing, even though the two drivers in front of him, uh, Ty and Knight, are doing perfect team formation driving, working with each other. That man there on your screen now, he is trying to close that gap, and he's, he doesn't need help from behind. He's got Ethan Jeff Hall and Archie Clark behind him, then... Then he's got Cathal Clark and Lewis Warrell, Hardy Massey, Alfie Slater and Zach Drummond. That's your top ten. Wait, sorry, Zach Drummond in the tenth place. At the end of lap number one, Zach Drummond was 28th. Storming drive Call from blimey. Zach. From, Call blimey, Governor. <laughs> um, but he, he, a fantastic recovery drive from Drummond. Um, he's got a bit of work to know to catch Alfie Slater. At the end of that lap, there's a little move on the Warrell passing. Cattle Clark for sixth position. Roman Kanyab is up at the 13th place. He's recovered well after getting caught up in that incident. Morgan Moore still hanging on to P18. Great stuff from the young Irishman. That, 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 sorry, that, that'll make quarantine for the next two weeks <laughs> a bit more bearable if he's come away with the top 20 finish. As it actually looked like Lewis Worrell and uh, Cathal Clark were having a slight conversation as they were on the stuff. No, please, I'll forgive you. No, I insist. It's a Sunday after all. Uh, yeah, uh, no, of course. Uh, as they go through. Three minutes left on the clock then. Nathan Ty still leading the way in the DP plate. Behind is Zachary Knight holding off. What's that gap though? Macaulay Bishop. It's still just over a second. Actually, it's just gone under a second. Well, it was 1.6 seconds a couple of laps ago, so Bishop, he's going to try and do this one on his own, and I think he's probably looking at Nathan Ty, and that's given him a little bit of extra motivation. Mm. You know, but I mean, Nathan was doing, you know, he had the pole, he had the, he had the, uh, the, the right to, to move, make the move, he was the cart in front. Uh, just that one of those things, they, they, the, the, these drivers know just how important every single race is now as they go for a British championship. Uh, there is the, two, the, leading two, the leading three fusion drivers, Warrell in the 10, Clark in the 11, and Slater in the 27. Yeah. Slater in the 27, yes, yeah. and then it's yeah. Massey. They've all gone past Hardy Massey, who's now slipped to ninth place in cart 44, and about 1.7 seconds back, you've just shown flash into the screen there. That is the charging Zach Drummond. But uh, speaking of charging, uh, the three leaders charge towards the dog leg on lap number 14, two minutes to go. And that gap is now, yep, yeah, you're right, it's less than a second. Ooh, and, uh, you know, I, I had a twinge in my back. Yeah. Leaning down. <laughs> <laughs> Werrell uh, going over the, the curve there. So, Ty leads Zach Knight. Bishop closing in. He's got the crosses on the rear bumper of the number 36 Oliver Rowland Motorsport cart in second place. There's a great drive from Hardy Mimasi. I'm looking down, there's only a few privateer drivers in this class this year, sadly. Uh, Kanish, uh, sorry, Cole Glover is the next best place privateer in 27th, and Hardy Mimasi is running in the top 10. There you go. 90 seconds left on the clock. Still eyes on this top two. GP plate, Nathan Ty holding off from Zachary Knight. That gap, though, Macaulay Bishop, it's less than half a second now. He's breathing down these two Oliver Rowland Motorsport carts as they head out of the final corner onto the start-finish straight again. He's going to see that timer clicking onto a minute now. Tucking in there, he knows he can, he can smell a victory here, I think. Yep, I mean, he, was, he, he dropped down to 12th on the opening lap, did Macaulay Bishop, and he has clawed his way back into contention. We've got less than a minute to go, and pretty soon, in fact, I think at the end of this lap, Bishop will be in the slipstream and he'll be able to draft and you could just see there Knight check over his shoulder and he's probably thinking to himself my god how did you get there we've been doing everything possible and they have Ty and Knight 
have driven a perfect team formation race so far. But here comes that pesky number nine cart to try and spoil their party. Indeed, here comes Bishop right behind now as the two go side by side out of the penultimate corner. Zachary Knight looking like he wanted to get past his teammate of Nathan Ty stays behind as they go front to rear through the final corner. He's saying, come on, let's go defensive. We need to go defensive because here down the inside goes Bishop into turn one side by side with uh, Zachary Knight gets the job done, splits the two Oliver Roller Motorsport carts in half. Again, Bishop going defensive. Don't let uh, Nathan Ty break away too much, though. You've got to stay with it. So here we go. Nose to tail then. But Bishop now up into P2. So the clock strikes zero. The dinner bell has rung. Who's going to be the first at the table? Is it going to be Nathan Ty? Is it going to be Macaulay Bishop? The round two winner leads the round one winner. Zach Knight, well, he thought, about being, he thought he had a chance of being a third, the, a, the fourth different winner we've had in the finals this season. But who is going to be the first two-time winner at the moment? Let's hope that they can get back cleanly to the end. So into dogleg we go. Last lap board goes out. Ty defends to the inside. Bishop goes with him. On the outside line is Zach Knight. Zach Knight's going to get a monstrous run coming out of this first corner. Can he make it work, though? Still, Ty leads into the complex. Anything can still happen. Yep, Ty again goes defensive into the complex, and Bishop still all over the back of him as they exit now onto mini straight in towards turn number four. Zachary Knight as well, just behind. He's going to try and capitalize on this as well. Defensive goes Ty. Bishop follows. Little bit of a contact there between Ooh, the two of them. Side dear, by side, wheel, squeezing oh, him word. into the apex there. He can't get past. And here comes Zachary Knight back round to take the lead. Excellent. So Zach Knight, he just waited. The opportunity presented itself like Moses, the Red Sea parted in front of him. And Zach Knight is half a quarter of a lap away now from a victory. Ty second, Bishop third. Bishop under pressure because Jeff Hall, Archie Clark and Lewis Warren have caught him. But it's going to be a new winner again. And it's going to be number 36 for the Oliver Roller Motorsport team. Zach Knight takes the victory. Second for Nathan Ty. Third for Macaulay Bishop. Ethan Jeff Hall finished in fourth, Archie Clark fifth, Lewis Werrell in sixth, Alfie Slate the seventh, Cathal Clark in eighth, Hardy Mamasi ninth, and Zach Drummond rounds out the top ten. Well, uh, Anthony is going to go down to get the winners. Uh, Nathan Ty and Macaulay Bishop, they began this race rubbing wheels, rubbing side pods, going into turn number one, and they ended the race rubbing wheels, rubbing side pods on the last lap whilst battling for the race win. And through it all, Zach Knight takes his maiden British Championship victory. And uh, I'm trying to think, was that right? Like, where did he start? He started uh, 13th, from 13th to 1st. And I've got to say, Storm, the Alsatian, will be barking at the TV back home. Uh, brilliant stuff. There is a rundown of uh, the drivers outside the top 12. Connor Duncan recovered to 19th place. Morgan Moore comes home in 22nd. Noah Wolf in 23rd. Uh, Zach Drummond rounded out the top 10 now William Knight Zach's brother he finishes in 12th position Roman Kamiab 13th and look at that all 31 drivers Michael Walker did have a spin but all 31 drivers made it to the end of that one and uh, there is uh, there's gonna be some uh, well well very businesslike coming into Park Fermi there, they go over the way bridge, and uh, oh, that is going to be Zach Knight, well he came into today, fifth in the championship he's now a British Kart Championship winner, the uh, well, he just waited for the cards to fall his way, I have to say that uh, both he and Nathan Ty drove superbly um, in team formation there, but I mean, to come to come back from 12th and have a chance of the victory on the last lap, Macaulay Bishop, another stunning drive there from the number nine car. Again, a great effort from all the top three. And uh, that's four rounds, four winners, and, well, more than four potential champions still as this fantastic Cadet by Army Championship continues. Oof, well, I'm glad Anthony's going to have a chat with the winner because I need to go and have a tablet, I think, and sit down. That was one of those, uh, one of those races that uh, it was a gift that just kept on giving, shall we say. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be, you know, 
emotions can run high in cadet iami racing but uh, to cool them all down anthony jordan is down in the pit speaking to our latest race winner well, in the winner's paddock here, Zachary Knight. Zachary, what a race that was. You started B13 on the grid. There was a huge coming together at the first corner, and you just managed to slip through, didn't you? Yeah, it was really lucky, actually. I just wanted to go, I just went on the inside, because obviously my row's on the inside, right on the inside next to the curb, and everyone just made a passage for me. It's quite lucky, actually. It did look very lucky from that one. And, you know, racing with your teammate at the front, the GP plate, you know, just that confidence booster that you've got from a race win today, that must be a fantastic feeling. Yeah, really good. And to race against Nathan, who's, like, really good, one of the best, it's good. Well, he's got some pressure now, hasn't he? You've got a race win under your belt now. You've got nose to tell with him. It's, uh, it's a good start. It's a good uh, rest of the season. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Well, uh, enjoy your uh, victory, and uh, I'm sure you want to celebrate it over with the team. But again, fantastic race. Very well done. Thank you. Spot on there. Great chat with our, uh, Zachary Knight there. 13th row on the grid, Henry, but uh, back to you. Oh, thank you, Anthony. And again, uh, again a, a big well done to the, uh, Zach's mechanic there is uh, Mark Rose. You saw Mark just uh, chatting with uh, one of the officials afterwards there. But uh, Marky Mark, as he's known on social media, I think we officially call it Marky Mark's fun Funky Bunch now. Zach Knight has won a race. That's a uh, early 90s uh, pop music reference there for those, that, for those who are interested. The next presentation that we've got for you today is round four of the 2020 Motorsport UK IAMI Cadet. British Championships here at Mansell Raceway. I think it's safe to say that the cadets today provided the absolute best race in the final. We've got top rookie, top privateer, and the top three overall. First up, finishing as the top rookie overall in 12th position, it's Roman Kamyab. So Roman takes a top rookie trophy. Finishing just in front of Roman as the best privateer in the final, it's Hardy Mamassi. Now on to the top three. Eight tenths of a second separated the top three at the final and all the top three positions changed on the very last lap. Finishing in third position, the championship leader coming into this round, it's Macaulay Bishop. But in second place, a very, very narrow runner-up. He battled all the way to the very end. It's the GP plate champion, Nathan Ty. But after four rounds of the British Cadet Championship, we have our fourth different winner. And today's winner, coming onto the podium for the very first time in his career, it's Zach Knight. So, we'll come in, we'll let Chris have a couple of photos. We'll come in, so, Zach. From 13th on the grid, you led a lot of the way, then you were pushing Nathan. You started the last lap in third place, but came out of it in top. What a race. Yeah, it was a really good race. I got a bit lucky on the first corner, got into first, and then me and Cahill were pushing, but Nathan caught up. And then me and Nathan were pushing the whole way, and then Macaulay caught up, and it was just a fight from there. So try and describe what it's like, you know, to, to win your first, your first round. I mean, both these guys have won their first round of the British Championship. You know, try and describe what's, what's that feeling like when you cross the, the line and take the chequered flag? Oh, yeah, it's really good, and especially to win against Nathan and Macaulay, who are, like, really good drivers. It's re really good. Well, I've got to say, I think these two really good drivers got beaten by another really good driver today. You must be really pleased. Anyone you'd like to thank? Uh, yeah, ORM, my dad for bringing me here, and, yeah, that's it, pretty much. Okay, congratulations. There we go. Yo, fourth round winner of the 2020 British Army Cadet Championship, it's Zachary Knight. So we'll have the official photographs. So again, 
very, very talented youngsters. Well done. Oh, oh. Now you can go. There you go. Well done all. Congratulations.